Hello and welcome for another morning stream to another morning stream. Um, so today's uh, today's Monday and on Mondays we play Amulet here on my channel. And uh, what I wanted to try for this week is something I've been giving a shot over the weekend um, when I was playing some some leagues uh, by myself. And that is a uh, splash in black. The uh, Goblins deck, which actually won the Modern Challenge over the weekend. Hey, hell, hail, and uh, hola, como va, to the bay. Um, yeah, so the, the Modern Challenge that uh, Magus won with Goblins over the weekend was a little bit worrisome because like that list felt extremely, extremely bad for us. Um, in terms of like how tough it would be to to beat uh, that list, um, it had uh, Thought Seasons in the main deck and it had Blood Boots in the sideboard. Plus, just we're naturally weak to the Goblin combo. So what I've been thinking about is kind of like adding one of our haymakers, you know. Um, so uh, I decided to try out uh, some Plague Engineers in the sideboard. I did not really face uh, the, the Goblins deck over the weekend, but like that is the idea. Uh, I also played that before Magus won the challenge, so I would imagine that the Goblin deck is going to be more popular now. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see how, how that works out. Uh, then we have a couple of thought seasons against the control decks and combo decks, like now we have something to do against stuff like Neobrand or whatever, and Adnosium, which Adnosium has been going up in popularity pretty... Uh, I have no idea why, honestly, but I, I've been playing against a lot of Analysium. And then uh, trophies. Trophies uh, kill uh, Blood Moons, trophies kill uh, all sorts of nonsense, including Karns, including Opposing Lands, etc. So a couple of trophies and one Decay. Uh, I, I could also see doing uh, three trophies, that's what I was uh, testing over the weekend, but giving opponents a land is it's a very real cost, you know. Uh, but yep. That is basically what we got going on. Of course, uh, the splash is is being uh, facilitated in a, in a big way by the uh, printing of the Triumph, which is a, a fetchable a fetchable land that uh, produces both black, green, and blue. And thank you for that follow there to Safi. But yeah, let's let's get in there. You got the wasteland from the giveaways. Oh, nice, Thalia. Yeah, congratulations. Just put up my paper amulet deck and I'm learning a lot with my videos. It's been awesome so far. Oh, thank you so much, Hale. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Caleb? Black Splash is very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be trying out, see what's up. And to Safi with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Primetime Stronghold, my friend. Thank you for for using that uh, that Twitch Prime sub uh, right here on the stream. Thank you so much. And welcome. Just notice that my head is... You get to really see my shirt. I, I wish it could be a little bit more centered. I think I... Yeah, because you can see like <laughs> the top of my green screen. So I, I, I will fix that for, for next stream. I'm not going to go fix it right now. But um, I promise I'll fix that one for, for next stream. Oh, Tobias for last... Oh, yeah, sweet. Welcome, Tobias. How's it going? Oh, we're playing against Will. Hi there. Look at this hand. Huh. An absolute beauty. So, let's think here. So, we're going to Amulet on one. We're going to Udo on two. Amulet on one. Of the Misty? Or of the vestige. I guess we can't Udo on two, no matter how we slice it, right? Hey, Dito, how's it going? Your hand in life. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go breeding pool here. Because if I find the Dryad, I get to play it off the Crumbling Vestige. Have I tested Wars, Wargate? Uh, Wargate is just really bad. It's like a three mana do nothing, right? Played on Friday at FNM, but I lost all three games. I need much more training. I think your guy. Oh, yeah, for sure, Tobias. Yeah. You know how to access it, right? You know how to access the, the guide? Vita Serigo thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. Glad that you are enjoying them. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I'm doing great. <clears throat> doing great. We're playing against Shadow, it looks like. And it seems overgrown to him, so I guess for Color Shadow, maybe Jund. Tell you have if I have rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and in the Discord, you can of course just go ahead and um, ask if you have any questions or whatnot. Um, yeah, well, very happy to have done things the way I did now. So we're going to throw green and blue. That is Udo mana. Draw a card, see what we find. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do this. It's very, very likely that they have another It's very, very likely for them to have another discard spell. This is fine. I'm currently playing this on one, of course, to blow up potential shadows, but yeah. Uh, we should have a Titan on turn four, if Will doesn't stop me from doing that, so that's cool. I promise you guys go with heal. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, some matchups are just bad, and you can do like little things to try to uh, make them a little bit better, but they are just, by definition, pretty bad for us. It's just they fight on an axis that we really struggle to fight. Basically, all the creature combo decks are um, are, are, are potentially a problem, particularly if they are either very fast, like the Druid combo decks. Uh, the Druid combo decks uh, will kill you on turn 3 very reliably. Um, which is pretty fast, so they are forcing you to interact. Basically, every every deck that forces us to interact is is tough for us, basically, because we don't we don't really get to interact very easily. Tarmogoyfo. Uh, I guess we're not gonna get to. To kill this. We're not gonna get to haste our Titan, I mean. But we can cast it next turn unless Will has a discard spell. Should I I'm thinking if I should have like played the the forest there so I could pack in response to another like an Inquisition or something? I don't think so. All right, cool. We're doing good now. Oh, hello there. Fancy seeing you here. Fancy seeing you here. Um, let's do Tolaria West and Simic growth? Nah. We can do Bojuga Bog. Makes the Goyf tiny. Bojuga Bog to Larry West. This makes um, 
this makes future uh, what's his name pretty bad um, traverses Berlin Germany you are 2023 it's 11 24 in the morning for me oh yeah if I if I don't if I don't get back to you on discord right away of course I will I will get back to you whenever I see it we can blow up the explosives if we have to I really doubt it I think that if my opponent attacks I'm not gonna block I'll take three from the Goif. They can double strike it with TBR, we take eight instead. And if they attempt to go for something like a little bit more lethal, we just blow up the explosives. So I think we, we kind of have this one in the bag. I don't think Will has any outs at this point. I'm trying to think any cards that they could play they could miss with us. Even something like Engineered Explosives, which would be very unlikely for them to be playing, considering they play mostly one and two drops. But... Another Goif that doesn't do anything. I will not block. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hashtag whitelisted, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I think I'm going to get Valakut plus Bounce Land here. They can't actually do anything in terms of. Well, I guess they could dismember my Dryad. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna play for Dryad. I'm just gonna play for. I'm just gonna go for Titan. I'm just, I was just going to haste plus get a field of the dead going, and then I was gonna attack with both Titans. <laughs> Will says you're a bad man. I'm like, sure. <laughs> get some trackers in there. Got some Stacys. Whoops, got some ghost squatter, got a cavern. I think they're just playing straight up Jund. Could be wrong about that, but I'm fairly certain that's the case. Let's do something like this. Splash makes me very happy. Yeah, Bone Daddy, I'm, I don't know. I've been, I've been trying it out because of uh, specific reasons. And then those reasons have kind of not really come together. So it's kind of tough. Like if, if Triumph were not a thing, I would probably not even be considering this, but because it is, then we can actually think about uh, making these cards work. I'm still not sure these are where we want to be, however. So this is just uh, this is just what we do here, you know? This We're just doing science here. Katarina, come by. To the bane. Sto. Sto aquí. Jugando. Un poco. G. Amulet, Amuleto, Provando, Black Splash. <laughs> Meu português está ótimo. Obrigado, obrigado. Uh, well, this hit looks very good against the Shadow deck. We have some removal, we have some ramp that they kind of need to get out of our hand. Nice Portuguese. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Liu Sara. My Portuguese was so good that Liu Sara, Liu Sara chose to subscribe to the channel. And let's welcome them to the Primetime Stronghold for the first time in a row. Hell yeah. Oh, we have a little bit of a... 
of a sub train going on here. Cardboard cut trips with the tier one sub. Welcome to the primetime stronghold, folks. Really appreciate you all being here. Thank you for the support. Esplashar Preto. There we go. There we go. Huh, they take the triad. That is honestly kind of surprising to me. It seemed like the worst card in my hand. Oh, maybe I should have played the fountain there because I kind of want to play the rod farm so I have a black mana to decay something if I need to. Lunchtime, primetime, glad to get my skill back with yours. Thanks for being here, Carlo Cantrips. Yeah, I, I basically missed. Never mind, I'm great. <laughs> Never mind. I am great. This is okay. Now, I mean, we're still missing out on two life, right? Like, I could have bounced this. Engineer is just the best card versus Goblin. Yeah, that's that's my thought process. And that's why I'm trying to, to make this work. Loving a wise splash. I've done fairly well with it. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, the white splash seems a lot harder to like make work. We can experiment with that later. Uh, oh, we actually have a white list over here. Hey, <laughs> nice. All right, so let's delete this. We can try. We can experiment here later. Uh, let's let's play our match right now, but. I think I just kill this now, right? Is this a Donald League? No, no, this is this is me just doing science, Jesus. You you know how much we science in this channel. Well that's one I did not see coming. Which really explains why they took the dry instead of one of these other cards, right? Good to know about this one for game three. Has the stream schedule changed or have I missed streams? I haven't seen you live on Fridays. Yeah, so basically for the last two Fridays I have had to work, basically, that's it. I mean, this Magus buys me a lot of time though, right? Cause like now they're fetches. So basically we'll need, yeah, that's what I was gonna say, like, I guess they could have like a freaking. I guess Will could have like a dismember or something. Dismember would be pretty brutal. I still think I have to play this right here because we are still susceptible to. Yeah, there's the dismember. Yeah, that's like the best case scenario for him. Absolute best case scenario there. But I, I still like they use only two disco spells and they play they play eight. So I think that the the triad is safer in place in play where it can only die to one of Will's like maybe two dismembers while it can get discarded a bunch of different ways. So we need to draw a basic so I don't want to uh, expose myself to something like a call against command. So I'm just gonna hold on to this radiant fountain here. They can still kill the engineer. Yeah, they have tar fire that they can that they can go to fetch for. They can't kill you with an engineering play, but they can easy. Uh, but they can find answers to the engineer, basically. So they can't combo you out while the engineer is in play, but they can they can like figure out a way to like go fetch Starfire or something and kill the engineer and then they combo you out. So it's still not GG. I'm actually getting my last cars to finally assemble my amulet and modern. Oh, nice. Hola from Brazil. Hola, Lucera. Uh, sorry that I missed your message earlier, but <laughs> I just got, I just got it. 
So for a minute, hey, I'm Scousy Golem. Snoop is a 2-2 though, so you don't need to sling me out in play. Fairly sure they can kill you through the one engineer. They cannot um they cannot combo, right? Because the, the Harbinger dies. So they, the last copy of a Snoop cannot um so they would need to have the Harbinger in hand, basically. Right? So they would need to have the Harbinger in hand and they would need to naturally find the Kikijiki on top or they would need to have two Harbingers in hand and be able to cast them both. So yes, they can combo you out, but you are they it's not it's not a two card combo at that point. It's like a three or four card combo. So yes, you are right, but at the same time, no. If that makes sense. Did you consider Field of Ruin? Uh, I'm not blocking there. I think they're just trying to enable push or something. Or they have a second one of these. Or they want to start taking damage so they can make a big shadow. All of those things I'm not excited about. <sighs> Maybe they just wanted to draw a card. Hello. Now we can start attacking. What about white with containment priest? I don't think on pain containment priest does that anything that we really want to be doing. I mean, it stops Neo Brand for whatever it's worth, but doesn't seem too great. Uh, should I serve? Yes, I should serve. Feel of Ruin and Ignore Evilet are kind of cute. <clears throat> that is a lot of... That's a lot of mana though. You need to be holding up the land to sack plus two more mana in order to interact with that. And it's you only interact momentarily, they can maybe just go off next turn as well. So I'm not sure how much I like that. GG's. I was definitely not prepared for that Magus, but you know when when, when your deck loves you, you're fine. Field will be fine in Titan Field, but I don't think in Amulets. Uh, your play patterns don't really line up very well. Streamer luck, yeah, Levi. I'm gonna be playing your pile tomorrow, by the way. I'm gonna be playing... Um, I still have some final things to mess around with, but we're gonna be playing Keenan Dot Deck, of course, Falcon Rat Aristocrat. Um, we settled on a list with Season Power instead of Lingering Soul, so we're just not uh, splashing black at all. Uh, not splashing white at all, just straight up uh, red black. So we're gonna be playing this. And then we're gonna be playing uh, your list. I think it's this list. I'm not sure if you made any changes. No, it's I. It's no. I think I have to import the list. And then we're gonna be playing um, another donor list. So to, tomorrow is gonna be donor list day. What's up, Megas? How's it going? Uh, we're playing against Yorion, and this hand is not very good. And it's a lot better. So I think I'm gonna bottom the trial. Ah, this is a cantrip. I think I'm just gonna bottom the forest here. Put an awesome most of six. Gonna edit it a little because it's messy after some places. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I mean uh, tomorrow you can just uh, shoot me what your what your most recent list is. This is gonna be a serious mind blown moment for my opponent. Wait, 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 what? 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 Elf? What? <laughs> Working on a goblin guy now that I'm explicit. I mean, you won an event, right? So you're basically like the best goblins player in the world right now. 
Because, I mean, that's that's just how it works. Um, okay. Oh, so this is kind of like the Mimi deck. So I played against this deck the other day and I lost miserably. It's a Yorion deck that has like a bazillion combos that have nothing to do with each other, yet somehow it kind of works. It's super weird. It's super, super weird. Oh, maybe it's not. No, it's not. Never mind, never mind. Ignore that. Ignore what I was saying earlier. I like this. Uh, it may be a meme, but I'm originally a VGX play, so I suppose thought this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thoughts is in the board of Amulet, of course, a classic. Can we draw another amulet? Let's just be let's just be reasonable here, you know. Hmm. What does that change? Nothing? We still need another land, but we also need a green source, so that's why I'm playing on the Triumph. We could cycle this, but if we fail to find the land, then we're just gonna be very, very sad. <clears throat> we can block my opponent's two-point attack. Hell yeah. Look at that value, got him for Fierce Empath. We find a green bounce land, we get to haste our titan. <clears throat> we get to cast titan and haste it next turn, which is pretty sweet. They're playing blue though. So I don't know how afraid of counter magic I should be. I imagine I should play around it, so I should try to bounce this. Ursa. It is Ursa. So now they have a gazillion mana. This might be a Song of Creation combo here. Put your in hand. Alright, so next turn they're gonna have a lot of mana. Um, so I packed for Asusa, one, two, three. No, that's not enough. They know about this cavern, so let's do that. Uh, we can't pack for Dryad, but we can Dryad post-combat. Probably not gonna be amazing, but... <clears throat> So we get to Titan next turn. Minamo School at Water's Edge. School. They don't have red mana. Ugh, that's kind of annoying. So if they that bounces my amulet, that's basically a little bit of a time walk there. Okay. How's it been going? It's been going great. I'm getting a little bit destroyed here, but... Well, I guess I don't even know if we're getting destroyed. It feels like we're getting destroyed. Just three astrolabes in the top, tw less than the top 20 cards, 17. Yeah. 
I'll block you. I'll block you. Have you been running black cards from the cyber yet? How's it looking? Uh, I've been testing it a little bit over the weekend. And like the point of the whole idea was to try to to try to uh, tech a little bit against the goblins deck. And I didn't get paired against the goblins deck even a single time, so <laughs> I really don't know. So my opponent's gonna begin to do a lot of blinking here. Imagine they're like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad at all. So let's draw another amulet. That would be great. Second amulet would be awesome. Can we have that, please? Um, that doesn't change anything, right? That doesn't change anything. I'm kind of going to need to attack here. Because I'm gonna need to trigger field, otherwise my opponent might kill me. So let's do a silver stronghold. We copy here. Can we valak at something? Well, the problem, I guess. No, no, we're fine. So we bounce here. Move to combat. So I'm gonna attack the Teferi. We're probably gonna trade with this construct anyway. So let's do Simic plus Valakut. I think Field is gonna be better. Mind if I copy some of my cyber guys for money? Yeah, do do whatever you want, man. Go nuts. Let's bounce this. We're probably gonna trade with this Teferi. Uh, with this construct, sorry. But at least we sh we should be safe from just dying. Two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We can pass for Dryad here. We play into Rebuke if we pack for Dryad though, which I'm not too excited about. And we also time walk ourselves. I think we're just gonna pass here. Just gonna getting the the Sambo army going. <laughs> Watching Will try to clock me with only a Magus. Yeah, it it was not great for for him. <laughs> he he needed a little bit more help there. All right, what you got, opponent? What you got for me? Udo, another Teferi. I mean, if, if they can't time walk me, this is not lethal, so... Play one, two, three. We play a dryad, then we have one, two, three, four. Five, six. I guess five, six. Cast a titan, get Valakut. 
Vesuva. So if they tap low, might be okay here. Is this another Teferi? So many Teferis. Teferi flooded. Still tilted, I try a new deck and my first game, first league is Master Amulet, Titan Pilot. <laughs> it happens sometimes. I mean, that's, that's the bad and the good thing about uh, leagues, right? <clears throat> You sometimes play against literally the best in the game. Like, I've played against like Reduke on the on leagues and like stuff like that, which is just amazing. But if you're just starting, well, you're getting paired against Reduke. It's just like <laughs> you can have a bad time. <laughs> what do we have here? That's not the last monster. That's me, Wusa. You know, you know that. Uh, it is not a keen in song of creation there because my opponent doesn't have ref. So I think what this is is like these. It's kind of like a druid deck. Is that lethal? That's exactly lethal. Gross. Exactly lethal is the worst kind of lethal, by the way. Could impair versus Eli because he's oh yeah. I, I don't think I've ever been able to beat Eli. Eli, Eli, I, I never know how to pronounce his name, which makes me sad. Such a great player. Such an absurdly great player. Um shape some of that, shape some of that, cut some explores. Um, Radiant Fountain? I kind of want trackers. Do you even want this card? I think I do. Like, the chances is that my opponent is playing the deck that I was talking about earlier, so... Let's try something like this. I tilted as far as fact so hard that he raged 10 minutes of what I should have just guessed my UC in my, in my five color name deck. That's gross, was uh <laughs> Ely is right? Okay, cool. Good to know. I'm against Nikachu right now. Well the good thing is that if you're against Nikachu and you're playing you're playing uh, Amulet, it kinda doesn't matter how good Nikachu is, because I mean he's literally probably the best Merfolk player in the entire world, right? But it doesn't matter how good he is, you're probably gonna have a good matchup against Merfolk. <laughs> so that at least you are you are you have a little bit of a, a, a handicap there, you know. Goldfish would call this band control. Yes. So yeah, or or he would call band control stone blade, even there's even though there, there are no stone forges nor any blades. Spike mad about about actually by playing. This. I mean, it is. I don't think like actually needs to get banned or anything like that. But it, like it is, it is really awful. Like it's just it's just bad design. It's just really bad design. It's so innocuously obnoxious. It's honestly kind of frustrating. <laughs> It's pretty it's pretty frustrating how, how innocuously obnoxious Ashley is. So even though I'm not in the more mad about me Yeah, exactly. So th it's the same problem with both cards, exactly. Those are some, some really good examples that you just that you just uh, put out there. Um Did I just keep this hand? I think I just kept this hand. Nah, this is fine. Just gonna play my amulet to then fetch the tapped Sultai land and then. It's not fair to see for color with moon, it's just because it's not. Yeah, that's uh, like that is the problem, right? Like, Blood Moon is supposed to. Um, to It's supposed to be there to punish greedy mana bases. 
and there you are, you know, playing a four color deck and running Blood Moon yourself to punish your opponent's mana bases. So when if you if anybody is playing a greedy mana base now, you're kind of forced into playing Astrolabe because it's just so much better than all the other ways of playing more colors, you know. Um, so it, it it is pretty frustrating, honestly. So I I totally understand it. That proves that my mana base is not greedy. <laughs> fair, fair enough. New Nagi Mini is nonsense because nobody plays many of the to turn two Blood Moon cheese decks. Uh, that's not true. That's not true. I have played Blood Moon in other decks. Uh, decks like uh, Splinter Twin or like stuff like that. So this allows me to cycle Trium on my opponent's end step. I don't think I want to cycle it now because I want to represent whatever I can have. I don't even know what I want to represent in here, but... <clears throat> oh, maybe they bounce my Triad and they used up their food. That would be great for me. Floating man, I guess it's free, basically. My opponent did not bite the bullet there. So that probably means that it's bad news for me and my opponent has an Ursa. Oh. Sweet. Awesome. So now my opponent's down to food. They can't Ursa me this turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if they replay the Spellbomb, that kind of takes up the entire turn. I'm into this. We're not even down a land drop. All of this is fine. So they're not even holding up the... What's his name here? Prime time? Another Dryad. Does that change anything? Not <laughs> I'm not gonna play the last one. One land up short. Feels bad, man. We can cast Sakama. God damn it. Uh, Sakama memes will never die. <laughs> Sakama memes too strong. Can only hope I get paired versus Jim Davis. I mean, I kind of hope that we get paired against the Goblins deck as well. Like, that's exactly what I'm trying to figure out. Like, whether this list is actually good against that deck specifically. So, yes, I would kind of love to. Hopefully, they, they, they bounce. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. So, my opponent could have been drawing cards all this time. And instead, they're bouncing my Dryad, which I can play completely effortlessly. So, this is definitely good for me. And now we are in a situation where uh, draw, uh, land drops are good draws and uh, Primeval Titan is a good draw. Sure, you get a fairy, whoops. It's like they, they just keep bouncing my dudes and it just I just replay them without any problem. I think Astrolabe made Modern a very interactive format. A lot of good mid-range control decks around. That's true. That is true. All right, so any land is good for us. 
<laughs> uh. Imagine drawing a land when I can just draw the best draw. Silly me asking for a land. Why would I ask for a land? Just just shoot for the sky chat. If if anything, if I, if I just learned anything, if I just learned anything, is that you should always shoot for the sky chat. The sky is the limit. <laughs> All right, um, uh, what else here? I think we're fine. All right. What sort of list should we bring it in for Gobos? I was thinking of going, uh, going back to these members. Yeah, these members uh, are, are, are solid. Um, I'm I'm taking it one step further and I'm splashing black for a play engineer right here. Thoughts is in my amulet deck. It's more likely, yeah. Yeah, go was killed us on turn two, that's true. Just bear with me here, chat. Let me science this hand, okay? Easy. Easy. This guy. <laughs> what do you say, Chad, that this this keep was perfect? Yes, exactly. That's that's what I was saying all along. Why didn't you believe me? Just send that Nika choose career. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Nika is gonna be just fine. Nope. So we can dry it into transmute for Packed. We're definitely dryading. We're most certainly dryading. I can dry it plus transmute. I can dry it plus hit line drops. I go. I think I like dry up plus heat land drops. We can only punish the my opponent has exactly Ashiok right here. But even if we transmute for a pact, we still cannot pack the Ashiok because we're one minute off anyway, so. My opponent's over there trying to have fun, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> just, just draw the perfect hand, don't worry about it. Just don't have Ashiok. Play in. Oh yeah, that doesn't do anything, cool. I guess if they have Mox, Mox into Torpor Orb, that could be mildly annoying. How will we activate Amulet now? Exactly, we can't activate Amulet. Punt it. All right. <laughs> All right, GG's opponent, GG's. Um... So the best way to do this is here, bounce this, and I guess we play the Trium. We leave this untapped, 
then we prime time. We get Valakut plus Haste Land. We Haste Titan, we trigger Valakut. And because we have Triumph and Tolerate West, we have access to Pact of Negation mana, even if they answer the Dryad and they have the Dumping Sphere. So yeah, easy. Whitelisted as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Opener is primetime plus mystical dispute and five lands. Easy keep. <laughs> Easy keep. Uh, well, this one is not an easy keep. It's too slow. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, then a five we go. Uh, okay. So this one can go. So we keep this, we keep this, we keep this. These three we have to keep. I kind of want to keep this one too. So it's just one of the lands. If we're playing against a control deck. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to do this. Uh oh. Is this one a blue Tron? That's kind of poggers. Playing Black Amulet without Gitrog? Yeah. Not playing unplayable cards, my bad. Uh, I guess we explore? Don't condescend me, bro. Remand me, don't... Oh, damn it. Big froggy and playable, say it and so. Why would I lie to you? Hola, tuto comandas. You don't have another condescend, so I'm playing into it. Okay, remand is fine. Frog is just a bad Sakama. Damn, coming in hot with the facts. So if we draw a Titan, we just win. So that's cool. I think I hold on to this, right? <clears throat> no, actually I don't. Because if I draw a Tolerate West, I can transmit and cast Titan on the same turn. Blue Tron actually assembling Tron. Not only assembling Tron, but having like mismatched Tron lands. This is like disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, yep, I will trade. Titan is the only thing that matters here, so. Hello. Land shaming, yeah. 
I mean, my opponent land shamed themselves, right? Like, what the hell is this nonsense? No one can now shivy. Yeah, exactly. Chat, why would why would anybody ever not have it? That seems like such bad EV to not have it, you know? Such bad EV to not have it. What is this? One, two, three, four. So we're not gonna get to haste. Uh, we are gonna get to haste, I mean, but we're not gonna get to. Um so I guess we do field. Yeah, so garrison field. Now the question is, do I want to blow up two of their lands or do I want to copy my field? Because I'm definitely bouncing here. But if I want to copy my field, this is going to give me uh, four, uh, four zombies. Uh, I think that the only way that I really lose from here is if my opponent Mindslaver locks me. So I think I'm going to blow up their... I'm just going to get Ghost Quarter. And Key West. And I'm just second main going to copy the Ghost Quarter. Is since Labor Lock the only Wincon Mono Blue has? Is the only Wincon that actually matters against us. So we know that they fetch for that one, so we're blowing that one up first. And then on draw step, we're gonna blow up another one. Whoops, I misclicked through that draw step. So there's that. <laughs> oh. Well, hopefully we don't get punished. Definitely follow you if there was a Titan Church. Just ask and you shall have. How can anyone doubt it? Oh yeah, let's let's get it going. I mean there is a there is a giant spaghetti monster church, right? So why could we not have a giant horned monster? Right? Let's have a giant horned monster church. Do they still play this labor lock? They do. I mean, it's Blutron, right? Like it has, it literally has not changed in the past. Like I don't, I don't know how many years. Of course they have it. When I misclick, of course they have it. That's all you got. I mean, do you have another thought knot? Because if you don't, you're getting wrecked, son. Maybe they have remand. Maybe they have remand. They don't have remand. So what are we even doing? Why? Stop wasting my time, OP. Imagine wasting my time like this. Oh, I should have gotten Valakut there. That was that was actually a misclick. Whoopsies. Bounce here, play my land drop, one, two, three. Yeah. So this basically proves that Blutron is, is just playing EDH. Just like cyclonically rifting me and stuff. <clears throat> Confirm chat. Basically, Tron ECDH. Uh, 
we keep a couple of these, we side these out. Udo is fine, Bog is okay. Cavern can go, explosives can go. Asusa, one amulet. Is this some sort of Black Titan list? Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. You said Cavern, but Cut Castle. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I obviously want Cavern against the Mono Blue Tron deck. So, yes, I, I did what I meant to do, but I didn't say what I meant to do. Don't worry about it. It's all fine, chat. Keep. Is this the new stream setup? Hell yeah, Richin. How do you like it? It's nice to always have prime time watching out for me, you know? Uh, okay. It's a pretty solid draw there. What happened to the meta for this to happen? Well, there's a very there's a very good uh, goblin combo deck. I don't know how how out of the loop you've been lately, staffs, but there's a pretty good it's a pretty good combo goblin combo deck going around right now, and it kind of destroys us. So sup sap girl. Sup, girl. The Voted Druid got ported to Ray. That's literally what happened. Spreading Seas. That actually is kind of bad. Maybe they go get Blast Zone now? Jump down the list, I keep slewing behind for and getting <laughs> Yeah, maybe it is a little bit creepy, but... I'll take it. Another Spreading Seas. And if this is what they're doing... Pog. All right, I'm done with this nonsense now. Imagine wanting to slow down Amulet. Imagine wanting to slow to slow down Amulet with spreading seas. <laughs> uh. Some people, am I right? Oh, look at my opponent getting an F6 value over there. Whew. Imagine using... <laughs> imagine using... Spreading Seas as your disruption against Amulet. L-O-L. <laughs> L-O-L. Is there any consideration of being playing Engine in the Mirror? No, there isn't. <laughs> Haven't played Magic in 10 years, his spreading is not top tier anymore. <laughs> uh, I have some I have some news for you, Stavs. <laughs> my stream lagged and I missed my question on the whole game. Uh, what, what was your question? 
Oh, we play in 32 lane with the new fears. Uh, yeah, so even without the fears, I've been kind of digging the 32 lands anyway. Um, basically, it was the vast majority of the games, I just died with Titans in my hand. Oh, let, let me rephrase that. Like, whenever I lost, it was more so that I lost with Titan with a Titan that I was not able to cast because of missing my landers in my hand than there were games where I, uh, I didn't draw a Titan. So now that there's Empath and we're even less likely to fall into the uh, into the scenario of not drawing a Titan, then uh, going up to 32 lands is kind of nice. Did I not update the subs? I did not update the subs. These hands, man. Must be nice to be me. Must be nice, chat. I didn't pack for Azusa there, because we actually cannot turn to Titan, we don't have enough. Uh, maybe we... No, we actually could turn to Titan, I think. But it's probably going to be better for us to go fetch... Uh, um, what's his name anyway? Uh, Dryad. Hello. Uh, just bought my Titans in paper last week, then discovered your stream. I'm so so afraid from actually... Oh yeah, Escape, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Um, question, so with the higher land count, would you be more prone to keeping a hand that needs to draw mana or needs to draw a threat? Uh, it's probably in terms of like, um, in terms of uh, like how to sequence your lands and all that kind of stuff, I would imagine that we're going to be still in the same comp of things overall. Uh, give me one second, I have to think this turn through. So we're going to play this, we're going to use three mana, bounce here. We're going to have two mana, plus two mana, plus two mana. So yeah, so we can actually do everything that we want to do here. Um, I guess I want to bounce this though. And then we play field. Yeah. Trium Green <clears throat> Green Cast Prime Time. And we have a fear sandpath, so we're just gonna get Valakut plus Stronghold here. <clears throat> Cutting Sun Home is like cutting Sakano. I have literally no response to that. I have no idea what you're trying to say there. I think it is, it is a meme, but like I've been wrong about this kind of things before. <laughs> um... Hey Scott, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Mm, I think what it might be okay. So I think we're playing against the Goblins deck, but I'm I'm legit not sure, so I'm kind of like hedging a little bit. We might not want the Udo. And the Goblins deck has... Uh, eh. Yeah, let's, let's not play around Moon, whatever. 
You're playing in your opponent brought in dispute. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Hashtag outplayed. Hashtag outplayed. Um, uh, sure. Skip this thing. Opponent mullions. Notice you mean all the comments are memes. My bad, Mappet. My bad. My bad. Why aren't I playing Snoop Twin? All right, so now now we know that we're actually playing against Twin. I mean goblins. I mean Twin. Imagine, imagine drawing like this. Um, but yeah, I'm not playing against the deck because I'm trying to beat it. I'm one of those, you know. Wait, what? Would somebody please care to explain what is going on? Was that a good turn too? Not sure. I'm not sure. Like we said, whitelisted. Yeah, easy. To be fair, to be fair, to be fair, we outplayed our opponent by getting paired about the opponent that's playing snow covered planes in their goblins deck. So clearly we played really tight there. Just outplaying our opponents by them by them <laughs> registering lands around play or in their decks. Players are another folk, wealthy and uncivilized creatures. They simply lack the necessary intellect to understand how we to stay clean and their fourth contract Various diseases Monk wash to avoid being infected. It is the animal supposed to wash one's hands thoroughly after interacting with one of those three creatures. Those are that's true. Empath confirm the new goblin is right. Exactly. I mean clearly we just hundred percent win rate with this list against goblins. Pog, this is gonna make me MTGO rich. Are vials really expensive right now? Let's see. Like 20 tickets, like 18. It's not bad. Time to counter Q, I'm like, Dido, who are you? Like, I literally have no idea who you are anymore. The other day I saw Spike get impaired against you and you went turn one Astrolabe and I'm like, Say chat the lame out of Maradona. Shut up, Dido. Shut up. Dido bent. You, you, you will need some new emotes, Dido. Now, like the angler emote, the zombie fish emote is just. It means nothing anymore. You, you need an astral lame emote. Daniel is That's funny. <laughs> unless, unless, unless you actually are playing zombie fish in in band. What did I miss? We partying? Oh, we we always partying, Adam. You know that. You know that we are always partying here. Are you gonna get discarded and stuff? All 
All right. Turn free Titan, easy. Just don't have the thing that kills my dude. Nonsense. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Opponent confirmed the lack sack. Confirmed lack sack. I mean, they had the answer to my creature on turn two. Like, what the hell is going on there? Ah, come on. They're playing, they're playing an actually good list. What the hell, opponent? Where's your basic planes? Where's your basic planes, opponent? What the hell? So unfair. What kind of goblins player plays a good list? What is this nonsense? I have been out whitelisted. What the hell? So we just played a game versus Goblin? Yeah, we just played a match against Goblins. But this, but this opponent doesn't have snow red plays in their deck. The opponent in chat, they should be splashing in white. <laughs> exactly. The mind games. Get them with the mind games. I think they don't know about the explosives. That's kind of hot. That is kind of nice. We might, if they have double Snoopy though, I think we might die. Munitions expert. I mean, if they keep using their munitions expert to kill my dudes instead of combo me off, I'm probably okay with this. Let's do a dryad. Don't think I can die here. I don't think I can die. Matron. Yeah, I'll try. You may choose a top card at lever at any time. All right, all right. Let's really push it here. Let's draw an amulet. Let's draw an amulet here. Remember when my opponent wasted all of their munitions expert in order to kill my little dudes that were completely irrelevant instead of saving them up for the cards that really. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? this what is this this is not fair this is not fair I am 
really sorry, chat. I am really sorry you had to see that. Now, now you're gonna go, you're gonna jump on Magic Online and you're gonna say, oh yeah, nice, I'm gonna be able to to like win this pretty easily because I'm just gonna top deck like a god and you're gonna and I'm gonna be like I'm I'm sorry but that's just not the case. But you're like but I saw Francisco do it like why why can't I top that like a god as well? And then it's it's so sad man Go boss is a buy confirmed <laughs> Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Oh yeah, oh look at this. Let's just try it. <laughs> All right, engineers, sage, enforce, decay, trophy, trophy, maybe a field, we're gonna see. <laughs> Is Goblins really doing that well? Uh, it, Magus won the challenge with it the other day. I don't think I want Thoughtseize in this matchup. Seems kind of meh. No, I'm not too hot on that. I think I'm just gonna side out all the all the all the Stacys. <laughs> just take all the search effects out of your deck. <laughs> just just always call it to the top. Easy. Yeah, Vampiric Tutor is a lot better when it's free and it doesn't cost any life. And you don't even tell your opponent you cast it. She don't trust goblins for value. <laughs> We're lacking on the push-ups. Yeah, yeah, I've been lacking. I've been goblin lacking. Moose man 218 with a tier 1 sub. Welcome back to the primetime stronghold, Moose Man. Thank you so much for the support. Oh no, they took my Dryad. I'm gonna go fetch for a basic planes. Uh, basic for sorry. Uh, I, I, I am. My opponent hurt me. You know, my, my opponent from the previous round hurt me, and now I'm gonna be saying basic planes every time. Uh, but like if I am assuming that my opponent's on Magus's list, and if that's the case, then they're gonna have access to Blood Moon post board, so we might just get killed on turn three here. At least we're getting killed on team on turn four, that's for sure. Can we please throw a Titan now? Like I'm, 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 I'm good with all the amulets. Let's just throw a primeval titan now. <clears throat> Stuck on basing place from play. Uh, do they have it? They don't have it. All right, just, just, let's just draw a prime to move the top. Let's just not mess around with this anymore. Cape SSV, thank you so much for the team one sub. Welcome to the prime time stronghold for the first time. Very, very happy to have you here. Amulet, a uh, Titan, sorry. Oh, I called it wrong. I called it wrong. I punted by calling it wrong, chat. What am I gonna do now? Uh, so we're just dead now, right? If we had drawn an amulet, we, we if we had drawn a titan, we would have been able to present lethal. How many amulets is too many amulets? They're totally gonna go for it, right? <laughs> I 
My opponent says, wow, I'm like sick poker hand. <laughs> Womp womp. Don't go see because they might have kicking hand. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I did. I won't the turn play yesterday because they scooped in a spot like this. It's slow, but we have an answer to a moon. We have an answer to the combo. So I think this is a keep. Also, if we draw an amulet, this, this hand kind of explodes, right? <clears throat> Um, so the Vesuva was going, it always center stabbed Joseph Kama. The Vesuva always center stabbed, and I was going to copy my basic forest. That means that we would have uh, it, the, 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 the land would have untapped four times because of the four amulets. And then we were going to activate the castle that we had in play. That beats. We're totally getting moon now, right? Yeah. Totally getting mooned. Ugh. Damn it. I mean, we can tighten next turn if we don't get mooned here, so there's that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we can't haste because of the border scares, and unless we draw an Asusa. <laughs> All right, give me give me a second. Um. Yeah. Right. This works. Packed for Dryad. One, two, three, four. Play Dryad, two mana floating. Replay this. Six mana. No, I'm one mana short. We can pack for a Titan. We die to a second one of these dudes. Oh, I used the black mana? Well, that was a big punt, actually. We packed for Dryad. One, two, three, four. That was pretty bad, I think. Oh, we can just haste, haste with this. Just 
stronghold, Vesuva, Vesuva copy here, we attack, we bounce this, we transmute, we can play explosives for one, no, it doesn't work. Uh, they can choose not to shuffle. So that doesn't quite work. Well, I guess that this, this needs to not be summoned in sick, right? So that means I have one more turn. Yeah, right? Yeah, I think I'm actually just not dead. Doesn't necessarily give me exactly enough to impact with that plus Titan. Yeah, but I might as well just cast the Titan. Because if, if my opponent has a munitions expert and they kill the Azusa midway while I'm going off, I just die to my pact. So, like, there's a lot to... They can put it into play EOT. Yes, yes, they can. But if they do, I, I cannot beat that, right? This is on top of their deck. This is not on in their hand. So if they have a Snoop in their hand and another Harbinger, we just die. But I don't think that we can beat that anyway. Because this is Splinter Twin, right? And we don't have any form of interaction because they thought he started K. So I think that the only line that we have available to us... So I think we have to try to put yourselves in put ourselves in the best possible situation where we don't get comboed out. So I, I want to play around Blood Moon and I want to Yeah, I think this is fine here. Suva Stronghold. And if I miss on on two points here, I can put a Titan in my hand, which is better if my opponent does not have the Blood Moon. Because I'm going to get basic basic with this Titan attack trigger. Yeah, I think so, right? If I had some phone, they'd I hear yes, I am very well aware of that, but I don't have some phone, so uh thank you for the follow there. Uh the Bresto 203. So yeah, if they have Snoop in hand, then we're just dead. But I can't beat Snoop in their hand. So there's there's that. So this beats Blood Moon, these beats everything else. Okay, this is this is good. We're fine here. And, you see, and they had the Munitions Expert, so had I gone for the Azusa line, I would have actually lost the game. <clears throat> and there's no combination, right? Because even something like Warchief, if they cast Warchief, that means that they can't cast another Harbinger. Hey, 
Shuffle the equation, go to thoughts instead, value. Pashalik Mons. A guy is fine, right? They don't get to stack at his yeah, this is this is just lethal, right? Unless I'm missing some. Was that the most ridiculous league or something? Was that the most ridiculous league ever or what? <laughs> What's my record? We we just five and zero. That was trophy number three. Easy. I even beat the legendary white goblin stack. Yep. Clearly this list is busted. We did not get to cast a single black card in the entire league. <laughs> so I played an entire league, I 5 0 still have no idea whether this splash is worth it. <laughs> still no idea whatsoever. Is this good? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get to cast any card. That was cool though. That was cool. Ran it back. Oh yeah, hell yeah, we're running it back. Hell yeah, we're running it back. But yeah, I don't think it changes. How do you be the cyber god? Good question. You have to join my Discord. Yo, Coderific! Thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub to House of Mana. Welcome to the Primetime Stronghold House of Mana. Gonna go 3-2 now to evade it all. Yeah, it's only fair, right? Um, but... Yeah, what was I... What was... I think I was answering. Oh yeah, how do you get the cyber guide? Yes. So join my Discord with the link that just showed up. Go to settings, link your Twitch and your Discord accounts, wait a couple of hours, and then you're gonna get access to all the sub-only channels in my Discord, and you're gonna find the, the cyber guide in there. All right, uh, I hope you enjoyed that easy 5-0 league um thank you so much for watching if you're watching on youtube and i'll see you in the next video bye bye like and subscribe